hey guys welcome back to my channel i hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you do click them thumbs up if you don't it's okay um like i always said you guys don't have to so anyways today i want to do a few uh comments questions pregnant woman get this might be a, a two three part kind of thing i'm not sure yet um but i'll let you guys know so you guys can go check out the twitter you might um I should leave it down in the link below. Um, so anyways, don't forget um, to click the subscribe button down below also. And click the bell button that will be notified when I upload a video. That being said, let's get to the video. <laughs> okay, so the first question, comment that we usually get is, is can you eat that? There is a 99.% that if I'm eating it, it's because I'm able to. The only food that I've been told I cannot eat is raw meat, like meat that's not cooked all the way, chicken, again, yeah, you have to have it cooked, really cooked, eggs, fish, sushi falls under that category. Next one is, um, oh, when I was, it's a comment also, it says, when I was com um, pregnant, I thought, 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 okay, well, I'm pregnant, not you. My pregnancies are totally different, that's why... I don't tell people um, about when I was pregnant because there's no point in it. Hold on. Okay. Um, okay. Anyways, sorry. Each pregnancy is different. There's no need to compare them. Like this pregnancy, I had no idea I was pregnant because I didn't have morning sickness, I didn't get nauseous, I didn't have. In my first pregnancy, all I did 24 7 almost is sleep. I only woke up to eat, use the bathroom, shower, and to do laundry because my husband, then my boyfriend, husband, whatever you want to call him. Didn't want me cooking, didn't want me, you know, he did all the hard work. So, each pregnancy is different. Um, this pregnancy is more hard on me physically because my back uh, and because I can't walk too long or too far because then I start having ligament pains. But each pregnancy is different, um, so it just doesn't. I don't know. I don't find a point in comparing pregnancies. Um, or also when somebody tells you when I'm pregnant, I won't. Dot dot dot. Or I will. Dot dot dot. Okay. You do you. You live your pregnancy the way you want to do it. I don't care. It's not gonna affect me. It's not going to affect my child. Next one. People tell you to sleep while you can. Okay. How many of you have been pregnant? And, um, had enough sleep, actually. How many have you slept good while you're pregnant and been fine after your pregnancy? When people tell you to sleep what you can it's not gonna make a difference because I'm still gonna end up tired after the pregnancy I'll still be able to sleep during my pregnancy after my pregnancy and all that sleep you get all that extra sleep you get while you're pregnant it's not like you're gonna be able to save it in a little container and drink it up like a drink 
after a pregnancy, when you have those two, three hours of sleep with your newborn, which is not likely. Usually newborns are good during, during sleepers. But anyways, besides the point, um, I really didn't get the point of that sleep while you can kind of comment face. Um, next one. Can I rub your belly? Okay. I have bubble issues. I don't like people rubbing my belly. I don't like people making cute little voices to my stomach. Dude, it's my stomach. It feels weird, okay? Maybe there is people that like it. I'm not one of those per people. So don't go rubbing on people's belly. I would recommend you ask first, but yeah. I'm not a genie. No, mother's a genie. We will not grant you three wishes if you keep rubbing the belly. Okay, just so you know. Oh, you don't look X month. Okay, you don't look, let's say, five months, okay? It, everybody's different. Um, in my last pregnancy, I didn't really show much until I hit like 30 weeks or yeah like about 30 weeks or more this pregnancy I have a belly you can see it um it really doesn't matter if you do look X months um everybody's different and it also depends sometimes it depends if it's your first or, or more um so yeah it really doesn't matter um, if people tell you you don't look certain months it's okay don't take it to heart it doesn't matter you know how far you are I know how far I am so that's good that's what that matters um was it planned mine was not is it your business no did you help make it no so don't go ask people oh was it planned you don't you don't need to know uh, it's their business in or the in the partner's business um it's not like you're gonna it's gonna affect your life you know what i mean next one are you gonna stay at home mom again how does that affect you i am a stay at home mom I really want to wait till my kids are at least a year or two. Now my daughter's gonna have to wait till she's two, probably three, depending on how far I can wait. Because I don't want my recent baby being put in daycare. Since I waited for her to be a year old, I wanna wait for him or her to be a year old. Um, so yeah, no. Uh, oh, you're finding you pregnant. Okay. Um, there's women that have infertility, fertility, they have issues getting pregnant. I'm not one of those cases. Um, with my daughter, yes, it took us about three years to get pregnant, but it was because we were careful. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, but I know people that are that went through a struggle to get pregnant um so by making that comment you're kind of reminding them oh the journey they went through the journey they're going through right now with the pregnancy like you guys have to be careful how you comment or what you ask to a pregnant woman because you don't know their struggles you don't know what they're going through. Um, you can say congratulations to you on your pregnancy. We're happy for you, but you, but the comment you are finally pregnant is not necessary. It is not nice. Well, again, it depends how you say it. Um, next one. Can I give you advice? Yes, you can. But there's a 50-50 that I'll take it. Some moms... No. 
Some moms do take your your advice. Some don't. Um, it's okay. Don't take it personal. But there are people. There's more leaning to people that are not pregnant, people that haven't had kids. Mm, so you guys don't know what it is to have a kid, or you know, yes, you've babysat, but it's not your kid. Um. Anyways, let's say. Okay, one time there was at the store. This lady told this other lady, you know, if you treat, if you make it, if you make your child do that thing, they'll learn. They have to do it. They have no choice. Or um, the most famous one, is spanking, is a good thing. They will learn. Um, you don't know what the parents going through. You don't know if that child is. You don't know that child situation, health situation. Um, different people have different beliefs. I'm trying. My plan is not to spring my child. You don't know what it is to have a kid. People also say, "Oh, if I, when I have my kids, I'm, my kids are not going to do that." I was in those shoes. My kid does it. I just never told that person, oh, you have to do this with your kid. It is none of your business. You let that parent be that parent, um, child parent. So, yes. Next one. Do you have a baby's baby? Do you have your baby's name picked out? Does it matter? You know that child's name when it's born or after. Some moms don't like being, um, some moms don't like telling people their baby, what they think their baby's name's gonna be, because, like, a situation, situation that has passed, not to me, but somebody I know, they told their family member the baby's name that they had picked out, and... You know, time goes by, that family member has their baby, and then you find out that they named their baby the name you had chosen for your child. So that's why some moms prefer not to say their baby's name before it's born, to keep that name available. Because maybe for them, that name has a specific reason or meaning, signification, and if you go and use the name, they can't use the name because now the name lost its meaning, signification, purpose. So yeah, that's about it. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you did, click the thumbs up. If you didn't, it's alright. I don't mind. I'll see you guys soon. Uh, alright, so I hope you guys have fun. Don't forget to subscribe. Leave a comment down in the comment section. Don't forget to leave... Um, no, don't forget to click the bell button down below and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.